students welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn about a chapter that is a story by Ernest Hemingway and that is the old man at the bridge so let's start the video so let's start the video okay so first let's introduce the author of this story the story is written by Ernest Hemingway. He was an American novelist, story writer and journalist. He was born on July 21st, 1899 at Oak Park, a suburb by of Chicago. Hemingway's first two published works are Three Stories and Ten Poems and In Our Time. For The Old Man and the Sea, he received Pulitzer Prize in 1953 and was also honored with the Nobel Prize for Literature. Hemingway died on July 2nd, 1961. So this was a short intro of the author. Now let's start the story. Okay, so let's start the story. Old Man at the Bridge written by Ernest Hemingway. This is a story which mainly focuses on the theme of war and also emphasizes, emphasizes and underlines the concern and compassion to the pet animals. Okay, by the author. So let's start. An old man with steel rimmed spectacles and very dusty clothes sat by the side of the road. So we come to know of the description of the man with how he is dressing up, he is having steel rimmed spectacles, his clothes are dirty and is sitting by the road. Okay. There was a pontoon bridge across the river and carts, trucks, men, women and children were crossing it. Okay, so pontoon bridge is made of large hollow containers which are uh, filled with air and all. These are used extremely during war. Okay, so they were all crossing it. The carts, trucks, men, everyone was crossing the pontoon bridge. The mule drawn carts staggered up the steep bank from the bridge with soldiers helping push against the spokes of the vehicles. So we see how the soldiers push the wheels of cart in order to ensure that they are able to come across that steep bridge okay, and come to the other side, other end of the river. Staggered means it's not a very even kind of walk, not not proper. Okay, as it is wall time, so bridges can't be proper now. So that what is saying here. Staggered means that it's not a very even kind of walk. Uneven walk, uneven path. The trucks ground up and away heading out of it all and the peasants plodded along in the ankle deep dust but the old man sat there without moving he was too tired to go any further so he was old he was an old person he sat there without moving he was too tired to go anymore anywhere and there was dust everywhere air full of dust everywhere dust and that's why uh, maybe that's why it is said that in the first hand we see that he's having he is wearing dusty clothes, we are told in the first line, so maybe due to the dust, dusty climate, dusty environment, his clothes have become dusty. Okay. It was my business to cross the bridge, explore the bright bridgehead beyond and find out to what point the enemy had advanced. So it was the narrator's duty, he was there in charge to look over and keep an eye as to where, at what point, which position the enemy has advanced and where are they now. Because he had to report the, his, what you can say, his head office or anything like that. I did this and returned over the bridge. There were not so many carts now and very few people on foot, but the old man was still there. So many people had already crossed there because everyone is told to cross because of the war, but the old man was still sitting there over very tired and restless. Where do you come from? I asked him. So when I asked him that from where had he come actually? From San Carlos. 
he said and smiled so this smile is important as soon as he hears as soon as he recognizes as soon as he recalls hears the name of his hometown his native town he began smiling he began to smile that is the love for his hometown that shows his love that was his native town and so it gave him pleasure to mention it and smile i was taking care of animals he explained oh i said not quite understanding he says that he was taking care of animals so the author replied uh, oh as if assuming that he is a kind of shepherd and all and that is why he is saying that yes i was taking care of animals and all because shepherds what do shepherds do same thing as the old man is saying so the author assumed such that maybe he is a kind of shepherd yes he said i stayed you see taking care of animals i was the last one to leave the town of san carlos so san carlos is a town okay it's a native town of the person of the old man and it's a town and this old man was the last person to leave that town because he was taking care of his animals he did not look like a shepherd not a herdsman and i looked at his black dusty clothes and his grey dusty face and his steel rimmed spectacles and said what animals were they so again he specifies the person the old man's appearance he was wearing dusty clothes grey dusty appearance steel rimmed spectacles so you can see that nothing is color no, there is not nowhere any color mentioned all grey black white means gloomy gloomy environment is there by the author he has not mentioned any of the colors in the story it's a gloomy environment okay so as he said earlier as he assumed that he can be a kind of shepherd but after that he himself thought that he doesn't look like a shepherd or a herdsman type of person good well mannered person he looks like so and then he asks what animals were there various animals he said and shook his head i had to leave them so the narrator now says that so the old man says that there were various animals and i had to leave them unfortunately okay so the narrator says i was watching the bridge in the african looking country of the ebro delta and wondering how long now it would be before you would see the enemy and listening all the while for the first noises that would signal that ever mysterious event called contact and the old man still still sat there so it suggests that the narrator feels that some enemies are somewhere near he can feel them and he was just waiting and was eager to make those noises which he which he has been trained to do as a soldier when the enemies would arrive as a signal to give a signal signal type okay so what animals were they i asked so he again continues and asks what animals were they what type what which animals were you having so this shows that hmm so this shows the distracted mind of the narrator although he had asked the same thing what animals were they just before you can recall Okay, he had asked what animals were they. Again, he is asking the same question. So his distracted mind is shown here. Okay, towards the old man, he is so distracted. Towards many things, towards the old man, towards the soldiers, to the noise have to made the peoples crossing the bridge, and in this guzzling and gossling situation. he did not remember that he had asked the same question twice there were three animals all together he explained there were two goats and a cat and then there were four pairs of pigeons 
so this is important what which animals were they it can be asked two goats a cat and four pairs of pigeons and you had to leave them i asked then that asked that do you have to leave them so he says that salva there were three animals then the naja asked that do you have to leave them yes because of the artillery artillery is arm of the army with the some form of weapon okay the captain told me to go because of the artillery so the captain of that place of san carlos told him to go because if the artillery fire and it may lead to destruction and also it would not be safe to stay there thus the captain captain has asked him to go from there and you have no family i asked watching the far end of the bridge where a few last carts were hurrying down the slope of the bank no he said only the animals i stated the cat of course will be all right a cat can look out for itself but i cannot think what will become of the others so he is worried of his animals the old man is worried of his animals he he has surety for the cat that it would be all right but he is afraid and worried of the others the, the animals what will happen to them what politics have you i asked the narrator asked what politics i have you on which side you are on which side of the politics you are i am well out politics so he says that he is not in politics he is not interested in that type of in either of them i am 76 years old i have come 12 kilometers now and i think now i can no go no further so he says he is a he is traveling 720 how much yes 12 kilometers from san carlos and he is too tired and he can't go any further he is not able to walk that's why he is sitting and yes his age is mentioned here 76 years old old person okay this is not a good place to stop i said if you can make it there are trucks up the road where it forks for tortosa so tortosa is another place so the narrative says that if you this is not a good place for you to stop here so you need to move from here move out from here and uh, if you go a little further if you try to go a little further you will find trucks over there standing and which will lead to you tortosa that safe place so he shows some concern towards the old man he shows some concern he wants him to move from there so that he can be also safe and, and not affected by the war i will wait a while he said and then i will go where do the trucks go towards barcelona i told him So Barcelona is in Spain, and so he says that yes, I will wait for a while. But he nevertheless asks and takes the information as to where the trucks would go. So he says that the trucks will go towards Barcelona. It is a place in Spain. Okay, I know no one in that direction. He said, but thank you very much. Thank you again very much. So he says that the old man says that he don't know anyone there in Barcelona. Uh, it shows that the contact the contact list of this old man is still san carlos he don't know any person uh, after that after san carlos so he says that he don't know anyone there and but he also thanks the person for such concern it is such giving information okay he looked at me very blankly and tiredly then said having to share his worry with someone the cat will be all right i'm sure there is no need to be unquiet about the cat but the others now what do you think about the others so he again repeats the that the cat will be all right and again start thinking of the others the other animals and asks the narrator of what he thinks of the other animals what would happen to them
according to the narrator why they will probably come through it all right the narrator says that yes they will all come out of it will all right everything will be fine you think so he wants to be reassured the narrator of what he is saying so he says you think so it will happen why not i said watching the far bank where now there were no carts so there were no carts left to pass out through the bridge only these two people left so the narrator is talking to the old man at the same time he is looking out for the enemy in the carts doing two things to do two or more than two things at the same time but what will they do under the artillery when i was told to leave because of the artillery so the old man said that when i was told to leave because of the artillery what will they do the animals do under the artillery they should also be left at okay mm. did you leave the dove cage unlocked i asked so he said that yes i left the dove cage unlocked to which the narrator replied that okay then they will be fly- they will fly no need to worry about them again the narrator says yes but the others he is worried it's better not to think about the others he said If you are rested I would go I urged get up and try to walk now so the narrator says that if you are rested and you are feeling good I would go and you should also get up and try to walk again because obviously this is not a safe place to stay for anyone Thank you he said and got to his feet swayed from side to side and then sat down backwards in the dust So he was an old man, 76 year old person. He has walked 12 kilometers and he was so tired to walk. He got to his feet, moving side to side, swaying and unfortunately sits down again in the dust. He is not able to stand. How would he walk? I was taking care of animals, he said dearly, but no longer to me. I was only taking care of animals. So he says that I was only taking care of the animals, not interfering in the war, nothing I'm, I was doing, but I'm the only one who is suffering. There was nothing to do about him. It was Easter Sunday. So the narrator was helpless. He can't do anything to him except from telling him to move from there to safety. He cannot give him anything more than that advice. He cannot do anything for him other than that advice. Okay, it was Easter Sunday, and the fascists were advancing towards the Elbro. Elbro. It was a grey, overcast day with a low ceiling, so their planes were not up. That and the fact that cat, cats know how to look after themselves was all the good luck that the old man would ever have. So it was the Easter Sunday, and the fascists were advancing. and there was overcast sky only the fact that the cats know how to look after themselves was all a good luck that the old man would ever have nothing else so that's how hemingway suggests that the battlefield is really a place without any empathy for humanity this po- this story is equally you can say relative or equally relative uh, with the poem we have read after blenheim it's also regarding war what consequences war sequences and all there we found skulls and all and the same type of story is this related to war so that was the story old man at the bridge i hope the story is clear to you all if you have any doubts or queries do let me know in the comment section i would surely try to help you all thank you have a nice day bye bye